Hi friends, it's me, Miss Chacone. We are back and today we are looking at Wednesday. Today we are reading about a walk on the moon. And if we have not, if you're looking at this video and we haven't done our Zoom conference call, remember to join our Zoom conference call at 1.30, okay friends? If you have already, so if you're watching this video and we've already done our Zoom call, I hope we all had a fun time and I hope you really liked it, okay? So today we're doing, we're reading a book called A Walk on the Moon. Oh, sorry friends. Um, a Walk on the Moon. And if you're doing our math video, our math video we're going to be learning about time. So that's going to be really fun, okay friends? So let's get started. We're going to be reading about a walk on the moon. Now, before we start, I just want to let you know that there are there have been people who have actually walked on the moon. Now, there were so many people that really, really wanted to go to the moon, but it was not always possible. They needed to have a special spacesuit so they can breathe. They needed to have a special rocket that would put them through the air. There were so many different things and it was so hard to build it, build, to build all of those things. So this is the story about how people walked on the moon, okay? So um, on July 16th, 1969, the spacecraft Apollo 11 blasted off into space. Three astronauts inside the spacecraft took off to, for the moon. They wanted to be the first people to ever land on the moon. Millions of people watched on TV as Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin made their four-day journey. So when you want to go to the moon, you can, it's not like a drive from your house to Kitchard Elementary. It is not like that. It's a very, very long flight to the moon. It took them four days. Now, with um, with our astronauts, these are three very special astronauts. Their names, again, are Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin. And maybe you've heard of them before. You're saying, oh, that name sounds familiar. You've heard that name because these were the first people to walk on the moon. And right here, this picture, the spacecraft was launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. So here's the Apollo 11. That's what they called the rocket, Apollo 11. Armstrong and Aldrin moved into a smaller craft called the Eagle for the moon landing. The two men saw that the Eagle was heading for a huge pile of rough boulders or rocks. They were able to steer it to a smooth area. A cloud of moon dust rose up as the Eagle landed safely. So they needed to, you can't just land a whole rocket on the moon. They needed a smaller part of the rocket to land on the moon. And there's a lot of rocks and things in space that they had to avoid. But finally they got there safely. So it says that the eagle landed on four legs and had a ladder for the astronauts to climb down. People back home were glued to their TVs. They saw, oops, sorry about that. They saw, sorry, people back home were glued to their TVs. They saw Neil Armstrong climb down the Eagle's ladder. Now the Eagle is the spacecraft, remember. He became the first person to step onto the moon. He described the soil as a fine dusty powder. So soil is like the dirt on the floor. So usually, you know, if you're stepping on wet dirt like outside, it's mushy and it's, you know, it's wet and you sink in, right? But Neil Armstrong said that on the moon, when you step on it, it feels like fine dusty powder, kind of stepping into flour. So he said, the moon has less gravity than Earth. So bouncing around was easier than walking. So they would go boom, 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 boom. They would go ahead and bounce around. When Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon, he said, 
That's one small step for man, for, for a man, one giant leap for mankind. And what that means is that even though when he first stepped on the moon, for him it was just a tiny little step, it was a huge step for all of us humans, all of mankind. It was a huge step because he was the first person to get on the moon. So this is a huge accomplishment for all of our, all the human race. It's amazing. So let's keep reading. For almost three hours, Armstrong and Aldrin explored the moon's surface. So they were walking around, you know, looking at moon dust, looking at the rocks. They put their full, they put the American flag right there on the moon. Isn't that amazing? All around them were craters or large holes. So all around the moon, there's huge holes and those are called craters. They did not find any water, but there were lots of rocks. They collected moon soil and rocks to take back to Earth. So if you ever hear of anybody saying, oh, that's a moon rock. Well, that's because of, there were some times where when they visited the moon, they collected a lot of rocks and brought them back to Earth so that our scientists could study them and say, what's inside this rock? What's in the moon? So that's what we mean when we say, oh, those are moon rocks. They're very rare and they're really cool. Then the astronauts rejoined the Apollo 11 spacecraft and headed home. It says the astronauts left an American flag on the moon. It is a great reminder of the great accomplishment. Isn't that amazing? I think our story's done, yeah. So our story's done, um, but I just wanted to talk about what if one day on the news they said we're looking for some first graders to go to the moon and you're going to go to the moon and collect some moon rocks for us and you're going to go get some soil so like the moon dirt and because we need a lot more to study it because we need to figure out what is on the moon so they were looking for they were looking for volunteers they're looking for some first graders to say Will you go to the moon? Will you go to the moon? Will you be our astronaut, our first, first grader astronaut to go to the moon? And what I want you to think about is if they were asking for that, would you want to go to the moon? Um, sorry, friends, give me one second. Would you want to go to the moon? It would be so, would it be scary for you? Would it be fun? Is it something that you would want to do? So, what we're going to do in our writing today, you have two options. You can, if you pick that you want to go to the moon, then you're going to pick this picture. And it says, I want to visit the moon because... So you're going to write one or two sentences and tell me, why do you want to visit the moon? Why do you want to be the first, first grader to go to the moon and help collect moon rocks and moon dust? Tell me why you want to go to the moon. Is it because you think it'll be cool? Because you want to know what it's like to jump around in space? Is it because you maybe want to find an alien? Why do you want to go to the moon? Remember, your opinion matters. It's so important, but you have to have a reason why. You have to have that special because. It tells me why and it makes your opinion more important because you have a reason behind it. So you're going to write, I'd want to visit the moon because, and then you could put your name on the flag here. So here's your name, and you could put your name on the flag. Kind of just like how um, Neil Armstrong put the, our American flag up there. When you go to space, and you're the first first grader in space, I want you to write your name on the flag. So this is only if you want to go to visit the moon. If you say, mm -mm, I wouldn't want to go to the moon, if you're saying, I don't want to be the first first grader in space because I'd miss my parents or I don't want to be the first grader first grader in space because moon dust, I, I'm allergic to moon dust and I'd sneeze. Um, whatever your reason is, if you do not want to go to the moon, then you're going to pick this picture and it says, I wouldn't want to go to the moon because and you give your reason why. So. It's, there's no right or wrong answer. If you want to go to the moon, then great. If you don't want to go to the moon, 
then great. But either or, you need to give a reason why. If you do not want to go to the moon, give me a reason why. Tell me why you wouldn't want to go to the moon, okay? So you're going to write one or two sentences about why you would want to go to the moon or why you would not go to the moon. If you do not want to go to the moon, you're going to pick this picture. If you do want to go to the moon, you're going to write on this picture. Okay, friends? All right, that's it for today. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay well. And stay awesome, my astronauts. Bye.